Winter Watercolor Tutorial. For today's painting, the paints you will need will be turquoise, violet, Prussian blue, sap green, and white gouache to create the snow. Cut your paper to the desired size, then tape it to a board. Make sure to press down the edges of the tape to stop any paint from bleeding. Wet the top half of your paper. Using turquoise paint, paint the horizon line. Add more water and pull the paint towards the top of the page. At this point, add touches of violet to the turquoise and again pull it towards the top of the page. Add Prussian blue down by the horizon line and pull it up to create the illusion of trees in the background. Don't worry if you put it on too dark, you can always use a clean towel and blot the top of it. Then use your brush to smooth out the paint. Use the paint that's left on the brush to drag across the bottom and create shadows in the snow. Using clean water, blend out the paint. Make sure to dry this layer of paint before painting the trees. With Prussian blue, start painting the trees. Start at the top of the tree and work your way down, just moving your brush back and forth. A darker layer of Prussian blue is added to the branches. It gives the illusion of depth and creates detail in the branches. Think about a real tree and how the branches stick out at the edges. Once you've done the second coat on the tree, make sure you dry it completely. With a mixture of sap green and Prussian blue, add green tones to the tree. Careful not to cover completely the previous two layers.
Use a light green wash to create the tree's reflection. Dry this completely before adding the first layer of snow. Use white gouache with a small amount of water for the snow. Think about the branches of a real tree and how the snow sits on it like little fingers on the tips of the branches. Using the Prussian blue will add a tree on either side. Again, starting at the top of the tree and working your way down. Again, use a mixture of sap green and Prussian blue to bring out hints of green in the tree. Dry everything completely before putting on the final layers of snow. Put a second layer of snow on the tree in the foreground without covering the first layer completely. This gives the appearance of thin and thick layers of snow on the branches. Remember to think about the individual tips of the branches as you paint the snow. And now make it snow with little dots of the white gouache. When painting the snow, paint your dots back and forth in different areas of the paper. This will prevent you from creating a pattern.
Finally, take some white gouache and drag it across the bottom of the paper through the shadows that you've already painted in the snow. This will break up the shadows. Carefully remove the painter's tape, pulling it down and away from your painting. Subscribe to my channel to be notified about the next winter watercolor tutorial. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this video.